Many thanks to Britain for Europe for permitting me to say a few words. I do hope at the end of this little address I will be able to count on your votes as leader of the Conservative Party. I wanted to explain how closely my own vision aligns with yours. Like you, I believe it is essential that Britain remains at the heart of Europe. But I also appreciate the need to implement the will of the people and ensure a clean break from it. As you all know, I worked tirelessly for the Remain campaign and have always been a true European at heart. It's true I have some reservations about the current nature of the EU project, but I also recognize the many advantages of EU membership. I therefore believe it is essential that we retain the essence of that membership. The customs union, for example, is something that hardly anyone understands and that many of us passionately believe we should or shouldn't retain or abandon. The EU remains the largest free trade area in the world, if you exclude China, America and lots of other very big places like that. And so the benefits of frictionless trade with our neighbours across the Channel must be retained and prioritised, but also enhanced by new trade agreements with emerging economies. And I'm sure none of them will bear us any ill will from centuries of colonial oppression. Britain has always been a country of immigration, albeit controlled and highly regulated immigration of the right sort. We must retain fully open and compassionate borders, which also prevent terrorists, economic migrants and the French from unfettered access to our NHS. Additionally, our own citizens abroad must continue to enjoy the rights currently given to them by the EU, even if we must impose similar and much-needed restrictions on EU citizens living here. In summary, I want an imaginative deal with the EU that in no way ties us to Brussels bureaucracy, but offers us the closest possible relationship with Europe. If we cannot be part of the EU, we must be an indivisible partner that is also very separate indeed. Like a close family member that is now living abroad, we retain a fondness for our family, a distance that is healthy, and a desire to meet at least once a year, probably at Christmas. I hope I have made my position on Europe extremely clear. I know I can rely on your support. Thank you.